Hey everyone, Dan from On One here, and I'm excited to show you some cool new improvements we've made to the auto tone algorithm. What that means is it's the thing that automatically makes your image brighter or, or uh, darker depending on if the image is overexposed or underexposed. I'm here inside of Perfect Enhance, and that's the place where you're going to use auto tone the most. In the past, auto tone, all it really did is set the white and the black points in. If your image was really under or overexposed, it could make it look better. But if your image had a long tonal scale, if it already had real whites and blacks, you wouldn't see any improvement. This image is a perfect example of that. If we look at our histogram up here in the corner, we can see that there's already real blacks and there's actually real whites. And if we turn on the clipping, you can do that by clicking on the clip indicator up here in the corner. Anything that's blue is already black. Anything that's red is already white. So in the old way, if I click the auto levels button, this image wouldn't change at all. But clearly it's underexposed. I'd want to make it brighter and there was no automatic way to make it look good. Now with the new auto tone algorithm, it'll automatically adjust the brightness, contrast, shadows, highlights, and the white and black clipping points. So I'm just going to click the auto button. There you go. You see how the brightness and contrast and shadows have all jumped up based on this image. It's automatically brightened it up. It's evened out the histogram and created a more pleasing exposure, just like that. And it'll do that on an image by image basis. So you can create presets and batch process to automatically correct the tonality in all your images. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.